Now, Michael Douglas was on the red carpet last night with wife Catherine Zeta-Jones at the premiere of the latest instalment of Marvel Studios' Ant-Man. And I sat down with the Hollywood legend ahead of the movie's release. Michael, it's wonderful to Thank meet you. you. An Thank absolute you. pleasure, in fact. And I have to say, I slightly felt sorry for Hank. He was <laughs> semi-retired. He wanted to put his feet up. And suddenly he found yeah, himself yeah. fighting one of the most incredibly scary characters that we have ever seen. I it's not know. quite the retirement you'd planned. It was not the plan. I no. mean, after the second one, my wife Janet had been down in the quantum realm for 30 years. We just got her out. Now we're back together again, trying to sort things out, find out what was going on for those 30 years down there. And all of a sudden, uh, we have a new character, my daughter, Cassie, and uh, it was a bad girl and find ourselves in another incredible pickle, yeah. uh, which I did not anticipate uh, at all. Cassie's just been curious, and we, we gave her some pointers. This isn't exactly ant science, is it, Henry? You know how dangerous the quantum realm is. But a, an incredible movement. It's like just an explosion of activity all of the time. And um, Does it feel like a comfortable place to go back to now, <laughs> from your perspective? Um, you mean the, the world? Well, just or, the world or the, and or indeed the, the cast. Movie. You know what I mean? You kind of feel well, like... Well, that, that part is great. I mean, the, 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 the family link, you know, the idea, and this is why I think part of these, these Marvel films work so well. There's such a tight family group between between uh, Hank and his wife and Paul and and and, and uh, Hope. Yeah, I think that is, and I, I, I enjoy it because we all get along really well and uh, that fact it makes it nicer. This is why people do movies together when they can at other times. You don't have to go through that formal introduction period. You know each other, you can kind of get on to it. But beyond that, this quantum realm, I mean, this movie really does create this 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 other world, you know, for most all of the picture, it's uh, I don't know, almost a Hieronymus Botch, uh, psychedelic, pretty pretty crazy world. It's a secret universe beneath ours. What are you so afraid of? How have you managed now to adapt to living with a green screen? I, I had never done a green screen. You know, my entire career has been kind of contemporary. It's still a wonderful experience at make-believe, you know, and having to pretend that things are coming at you and looking up at different spots mm. and, and that, and it's very, very A unique. very different way of working, though, very isn't different it? Way. Yeah, and it does take time, but, but you're there now. The green screen is your friend. Yeah, the green, <laughs> oh, the green screen is definitely, definitely your friend. <laughs> we saw um, Catherine and your son at the L.A. premiere of the movie, right. and I know Dylan spoke of his pride for both of you, and indeed the healthy professional competitiveness between the two of you. Is that, is that a thing? Does that exist? I don't know the healthy. No, I don't think. Is that what he said? He, yeah, he's a healthy said, competition. Yeah. <laughs> um, he spoke of a lot of love as well, though. Just to, yeah, yeah. No, to no. I, no, I don't. No, we, we. I never think we just sort of go off. We're all both doing our, our own things. Try to do it at different times. Um, when uh, so when the kids were younger, so we, we could we could be there. But uh, no, I mean, Catherine's off now. I think they're going to do another episode, another year of Wednesday, m amongst other other projects right now. It's won you a lot of dad points, though, hasn't it? It's it's a it's a great thing for you for oh, your children to be able to say, yeah, dad's it, it in is, a Marvel it movie. Is, yeah, I it, mean, it, it is for that because truth be told, you know, most of the films I made, you know, my, <laughs> kids, my kids couldn't see. <laughs> So is, you have to be of a certain is, age to watch a lot of them, don't you? Yeah, and even it. still, right? You know, <laughs> but it's it's just uh, uh, it's also just another generation of, of fans. Quite honestly, yeah. it's it's as close as you get to immortality um, because you have a whole bunch of kids who never knew who the hell you were uh, before, uh, who, who now go, oh yeah, Hank Pym, Ant Man. man. Yeah. So, I mean, that part is, is fun. Okay. And <laughs> um, away from Marvel just for a bit, Michael, I know um, like all of your children have, have de uh, acting in their DNA, and right. you're hoping to work with your son Cameron. Cameron and I are going to do a picture called Blood Knot um, later this year, yeah. You know, they're all, they're all at it. Yeah. Uh, only, one, only one is left. Dylan just graduated, so he's just... He's just starting. Yeah, and, and also, um, and I'm, I'm guessing you can't tell us a great deal about this, but it's a new Apple TV series 
based on Benjamin Franklin, right. which and is an extraordinary character. To great take character of that, but Benjamin Franklin was in, in France, mm -hmm. um, and that we finished that. This is probably coming out in the fall. That's extraordinary. And, and people were guessing there was something going on because you let your hair grow. That was the giveaway, right. apparently. Right. People were spotting I, you going, oh, what's yeah. happening here? Yeah, let my hair grow. <laughs> it was fun. Back to my hippie days. <laughs> Did it feel natural? Felt Did it feel good? good? Thank you. I just hate to get rid of it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael. Thank it's you been a so pleasure. much. Pleasure Thank to see you. you. Great to see you. Thank you. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is out now.